Hey again everyone, uh, Mathel here with the usual tornado shot Wind Ripper character. So uh, the purpose of today's video is to show not the Wind Ripper but how I've talked about that you can use a budget version of the build with a Death's Harp. So I'm gonna run a map with the Death's Harp and everything else exactly the same. So just standing in town though, for starters, um, my Wind Ripper DPS is 33,000 on Tornado Shot. On the Death's Harp it is 20,000, which is still really good for a uh, for a Death's Harp, you know, a free bow essentially. It costs like a Chaos, it's free. And you also have to factor in the additional arrow. So really what you could do is even drop it back to LMP when running this. Um, everything else is still pretty cheap, but granted, it is still the six link foils. So with um, with the power charges, Death's Harp, just elemental aura build, ends up being something like 28,000, I think, for Tornado Shot, which is massive. It's more than my uh, physical character ever reached. So I'm just going to go in there and do some deeps. So the reason um, Death's Harp is actually still pretty good is because it gives you that extra crit multi and the extra arrow. But So the way elemental builds work in general is you get high crit and high attack speed, which is what Wind Ripper has specifically for the build. But um, the attack speed just means you'll hit more, faster basically. Whereas, um, you know, you're not hitting any harder, essentially. So with this boy, you actually are hitting harder, which is the crit multi and a bit of the fizz damage, whatever, as opposed to the early damage on the Wind Ripper. So all that's changed really is that you're attacking a lot slower with this bow, but your one-shot potential is still the same. Whenever you actually crit with your bow, you're going to be one-shotting everything as you can see. So that's all the real difference between this and the Wind Ripper. Wind Ripper gives you a much faster playstyle, which you know, in turn does make it uh, safer to play. Because the way I've built this Wind Ripper character is based around the Wind Ripper. So it doesn't have met much defenses and it doesn't need much defense because you'll be um, just killing things and shooting so fast and moving on from pack to pack so fast. With the Death's Harp you do shoot a slower and um, you're a bit more vulnerable to getting hit by things because of that. But I mean there was the boss you saw, he just got absolutely annihilated. So you don't need the 20 plus exalt bow to make the elemental tornado shot work that well. And I mean, you pick up Death Harp at level 32, and you can use it right through the end game, which is pretty crazy. That's exactly what I did for a very long time, up until level 70, I do believe, and that's when I thought I should try out the Wind Ripper. Because I didn't buy a Wind Ripper until level 70. I was using my Death Harp all the way up until level 70, and I was thinking, hey! This is actually working really goddamn well. Maybe I should keep rolling with this. By the time I hit 70, I thought, you know, this was a Wind Ripper character. I'm really curious to see how Wind Ripper actually performs and what the DPS is like. So I bought one and yeah, it's, it's better. If nothing else, you know, not for DPS and all that, just for the fact that it gives you that quantity and that rarity bonus. But, I mean, you can see Death Harp well and truly performs for its price. As I said, it also gives you that extra arrow, so you can't, you have to factor that into the DPS that uh, you're not seeing. But you just hit really hard with it, thanks to that extra crit multi. The other big difference is it's lower on crit. So while I'm near capped on crit with my Wind Ripper, I am at 67% crit here. 
which is, you know, it's still pretty good feel. You can see that I'm critting most of the time. And things die pretty quickly. So that's... Ah, oh, fudge. I didn't actually show the DPS. Um, with power charges. I do want you to see that, so that we can make a fair comparison. So let's jump into the docks real quick. So what do we got? 26,400 on Death's Harp. With an Itziri Flask, 30,000. Now we'll put Wind River back on. <coughs> 33,000, that's the unbuffed. Or just buffed by auras. I will also shoot there. So you can see it's just a lot faster attack speed. And you'll have higher crits, so it does just much faster clearing. 43,300. Itziri Flask, 49,000. Point is though, that's, that's a lot of DPS. Most of it is overkill. You don't need that much DPS. So your Death's Harp will, for all intents and purposes, crush souls with this build. So that's all I want to show you guys today. Uh, that is the Wind Ripper character, level 93 though. Bear that in mind as well. Just so you can see the passives. So that this is the character still. So bear in mind, it's level 93, it is still with my Wind Ripper gear, and it is with the 6 link. But Death's Harp can work if you don't have access to a Wind Ripper. And, uh, or if you just never plan on buying one and still want to try something like this out. So yeah, I'm Mathel once again. Thanks for watching, guys.